Okay, so we're going to do long division. Okay, you gotta know how to do this. So this is gonna go on the inside. And then you got this x plus three on the other side. Sorry, that's so messy. Okay. So then you're gonna ask yourself, what times x would give me x to the third? Okay, and so that's gonna be x squared. Okay. X squared times everything on the outside is gonna give me x to the third plus three x squared. I'm gonna change my sign draw my line and so when we subtract these cancel and i'm going to get negative five minus three which is going to give me negative eight and i'm going to bring down my next term you're going to repeat this process again what times x will give me negative eight x squared that's going to be negative eight x Negative 8x times everything on the outside is going to give me negative 8x squared minus 24x. And then you're going to subtract. And so this is going to cancel negative 33 minus negative 24 is going to give me negative 9x. I'm going to bring down the next term. And I'm going to say what times x will give me negative 9x? That's going to be negative 9. Negative 9 times everything on the outside is going to give me negative 9x minus 27. I'm going to subtract. These will cancel. Negative 35 minus negative 27 is going to give me negative 8. So this will be negative 8 over x plus 3. Five x to the third, and it would be five x squared, right? Okay. So when we plug this in, and we're gonna divide it by x minus three, you're gonna ask yourself what times x will give me five x to the third, and he's already told us that's gonna be five x squared. We're gonna times everything on the outside is five x to the third, right? And then what's five times negative three? Negative 15, and we got that x squared. We're gonna subtract. Five minus five is just gonna cancel. Negative two minus negative 15 is gonna give me a positive 13 x squared. And I'm gonna bring down my next term. So you're going to repeat that same process. So what times x would give me 13x squared? 13x. I'm going to multiply 13x by everything on the outside. So that's going to give me 13x squared minus 39x. And I'm going to subtract. And so this will cancel. 6 minus negative 39 is going to give me positive 45x. I'm going to bring down my next term. I'm going to repeat it one more time. What times x is going to give me 45x? That's going to be 45. I'm going to multiply 45 times everything on the outside. That's going to give me 45x. And 45x times 3 negative three is gonna give me negative 135. When I subtract, I'll get positive 134. I can't repeat this again, because it wouldn't work. So this is gonna be my remainder of 134, plus two, divided by x minus three. Again, for my people who are visuals, I got this by multiplying, gives me this. I take this, multiply this, it gives me this. 
I take this, multiply this, it gives me that. And then this is my remainder. All right. For synthetic division, you're going to change the sign of whatever you're dividing by first. So that's going to be negative seven. We're going to put it in a little box. We're going to list out all of our coefficients. So 1, 14, 47, negative 15. We're going to draw a line. We're going to bring down our first term. And this is where everybody starts messing up. We're going to take negative 7 and multiply by everything that's down here. Okay, so if it gets below this line, we're going to multiply it. Okay. So what's negative seven times one? Negative seven. Now we're gonna add going straight down. Okay, so we're always gonna add going straight down. So what's 14 plus negative seven? Seven. Again, we're gonna multiply negative seven times seven, negative 49. When we add these together, we get negative two. We're gonna multiply again, add, and now we're gonna drop it down one exponent. So x squared plus seven x minus two. And this is our remainder. So we're gonna put it over whatever we divided by. My question to you, is this a factor? Why? because it has a remainder. If it has a remainder, anything other than zero, then it is not a factor. I guess that 14 minus seven, because it was negative here. We took what's in the denominator. Okay, take a second, try that next one. All right, so check your work. I changed the sign, I multiplied, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. Is this a factor of this? Yes. Okay, it is a factor because we have a remainder of zero. Okay. Um, with this last one, with synthetic division, if there's any terms that are missing, remember you've got to put a zero in for them. So for instance, this has an x to the first missing. So when we list this out, we're going to do 6 minus 30, 0, negative 6. And then we're going to change the sign of what we're dividing by. And then you can kind of go from there. Okay, so take a second, try that one. All right, so here's what I got. I got the 6 brought down, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. And so I got 6x squared minus 6 over x minus 5. Questions on that? Okay. So now we're going to actually start working into binomial expansion. Um, so just either on like a, on the front of your packet or on a separate sheet of paper, up to you how you want to do it. Um, we're going to work a couple of binomial expansion problems. So... Mm -hmm. just need a blank page. Okay, so if I gave you um, something like x plus 5 raised to the third power, okay, and I tell you expand it. All right, first thing that you got to know is Pascal's triangle. And if you're like, what are these numbers? Ones are always on the outside. And then if you mult or if you add the top two numbers together, you get the next two numbers. So one plus two would give me three, two plus one would give me three. And that's why it goes out kind of like an old triangle shape. Okay. Now, since you told us to the third power, that means that this guy is going to be used. So now we're going to make four columns 
and three rows. The reason why we're making four columns is because there are four numbers in this row. But you will always have three rows. Numbers that go in this first box are always going to be Pascal's numbers. So whatever numbers you get from this row. The one that's going to go in the second box or the second row, that's going to be your first term. And you're going to count down three, two, one, zero for your exponents. The last box is going to be your second term. So that was a five up here. And we're going to go from zero all the way up to the third power. So, so far, all I've done is filled in a bunch of boxes. I haven't really done a whole lot of math. OK, one thing I do want to remind you of is anything raised to zero power is one. So I automatically and go ahead and put ones right here and here to remind myself, hey, that's what that is. Okay, now if you don't wanna do that, that's fine. Just remember anything raised to zero power is one. And now I'm gonna multiply straight down. So one times X to the third times one is X to the third. Three times X squared times five is gonna give me 15 X squared. Three times X to the first times five to the second is going to give me 75x. One times one times five to the third power is gonna give me 125. And that's it. Okay, I want you to try x plus two raised to the fourth power. So this time you're actually gonna use this row. So you're gonna have five columns this time. Take a second, see if you can set that one up. Okay, you should have one, four, six, four, one. I feel like that's like some type of jingle. Okay, so then you're gonna take X and raise it to the fourth power and then go in descending exponent order. Okay, and then you're gonna take the second one and go from zero and raise it all the way to the fourth power. And then now we're gonna multiply straight down. So this will give me x to the fourth. Four times one times two is going to give me eight x cubed. Six times x to the second times two to the fourth is going to give me 24 x squared. Four times x to the first times two to the third is going to give me 32 x. And one times x to the zero times this looks like 24. But it's really it's to the fourth. It's gonna give me 16. Ta-da! Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. All right, so that's how you do binomial expansion. Um, the only crazy things that you might see on this is, for instance, if you had like a number chilling out here in the front, so like 3x instead of just x by itself. Remember, if you have that happen, you're gonna raise three to the fourth power. You're gonna raise three to the third power, et cetera, okay? Cool. Okay, and then the last thing that's gonna be on your test is that adding, subtracting, and multiplying. Kind of straightforward, okay? You combine your like terms. If there's a negative in between two parentheses, make sure that you distribute that negative before you combine your like terms. Okay, so what I've done is I've posted on your e-class page. This is y'all, yeah. On your e-class page, I posted a review, okay, in three different sections. So you can focus on whichever one you're struggling with. So if you wanna work on the binomial expansions, right there, long divisions, right there, and then the adding, subtracting, multiplying polynomials is right there. You also have your delta math. So you have substantial practice. I would highly suggest looking at these reviews though. Okay, um, definitely gonna help. Okay, any questions for the group?
Oh, Lord. 